Hi, it's uh, Michael Polarski, another friend to the Trees Botanicals video. And this is June 6, 2023. And so we're in on the edge of my medicinal forest in Twisp, Washington. And we did the main planting uh, in uh, 1999, 2000, 2001. And so you can see there's quite a bit of tall trees in the background. Now in this foreground here, this is an area we've kept open in between the hedges, so to speak, so that uh, we could still get some part of the system with sun in it. We'll look at some understory stuff in a minute, but this is one of our sun sectors, even though it does get shade in the evening uh, and shade in the morning from the sides, it still gets a fair amount of light. So I'm growing more ground story crops in here, you might say. And so most, some of this was planted last year, some of this stuff, but many of it, much of this was just planted this year. And you can see a lot of rows of milky oats. We really, I really like to put milky oats as, or oat straw, it's oats, for milky oats and oat straw in the system because you can really crowd it in closer to, uh, to other, to other crops that are just getting going. So there's a woody component in here. This is a, there's three rows of berries in here. There's red, black currants, European black currants, white currants, red currants, gooseberries, and raspberries and crandall currants. So there's a, a lot of berries in here. And in between the berries in here, there's vegetables actually planted. They aren't up yet. But in between the other berries, we have holy basil or uh, ashwagandha as short-term crops. So we have short-term crops, annual crops in between the berries. Next year, we might be able to get, you know, squeeze something in. I'd like to have a full house. I'd like everything, as uh, much as a place to be occupied as possible. Uh, there's a row of meadow sweet there, then the berries two rows of oats, oats, and then here's a row of miscellaneous herbs, but mainly uh, in this area here is bone set. Um, so anyway, this is just a short-term cash crops for this year, but some of this will be perennial and will be here for years to come. So this is uh, will be less uh, annual cropping. And uh, this is nettles. This is nettles from the Columbia Basin. This is uh, Sericea, uh, Urtica dioica sericea. So it's different than most of the nettles. And it will get, eventually, these will get 10 feet tall. But I'm mulching them so that they're going to send runners out to the side here. I really want to make, uh, get a really big patch of this eventually here. Actually, here's another shot. I'm going to go just over here. And if you just follow me here, there's just this one shot that's interesting. This is a hedgerow, and this is um, sweet birch, Betula lenta. And it was cut at one point um, by the neighboring farmers to get more light in their field. But it, you can see it's re-sprouted with all these new sprouts. So this is a, a coppice now from a stump. And there's quite a bit of, you know, there's a variety. It's interesting to see stump sprouting. It's actually sprouting just from the ground next to the stump rather than actually on the stump, but it's that original root mass. And so here's choke cherry. Anyway, we're going into the hedgerow now. Better get back off the hedgerow, but I love my hedgerows. Okay, that's it for just a little bit of this year's planting.